Boom, baby! Howdy, friendos. My name is Stuart, and today we're looking at Cusco from Disney's The Emperor's New Groove. And yes, that is the only piece of media we're going to be looking at today. Normally, we take our time with this series and we look at every single piece of media that the characters are into and determine what they are. But uh, we're really not going to do that with Cusco, and here are some reasons why. Number one, today is definitely meant to serve as a for fun sort of video. Cusco is a comedy character, and he really isn't that deep, so he does nearly all of his development in one movie. Two, the TV show is full of continuity errors and undoes all of the development from the first movie. Also, it sucks, so no. Uh, three, Cusco is nothing more than a glorified commentator and cameo in Kronk's New Groove. And four, I am currently working on my Breaking Bad videos, and those are eating up nearly all my work hours. And, uh, yeah, that's the big one. <laughs> Honestly, I could go on and on, but basically speaking, today's video is meant to be as a just fun little filler. But I will promise this. If this video gets something reasonable, let's say 20,000 views, 2,000 likes, and, I don't know, 200 comments... I will go ahead and do Krunk from these movies. And yes, that includes doing Krunk's new groove as well. This video was actually requested by Oranos, I hope I'm saying that right, from my Megamind video, so feel free to pitch more ideas. I do read the comments and I took them to heart. Hell, you know what? If this video gets four new $5 patrons, I'll go ahead and do Kronk anyway, but he'll be in the future. But I swear to God, there needs to be some kind of incentive before I start critically thinking about Krunk's new groove. That movie sucks. Anyway, that's enough begging for algorithmic success. Let's take a look at our protagonist, Emperor Cusco. Emperor Cusco is the self-obsessed ruler of the Cusconian Empire of Peru. And while he is the sole and undisputed ruler of his country, it's not very clear what sort of ruler he is, and it's implied he spends most of his time partying and living the high life. He is wild, chaotic, and will seemingly deal out capital punishments for the crime of throwing off his groove. While this is completely understandable, it is ill-advised to dish out what is basically public execution for the accidental vibe check. He also seems to get a lot of joy out of putting others down and making others feel less than him, as seen by him turning down all these potential wives. And let me guess, you have a great personality. One day, Cusco discovers that his advisor Yzma was dealing with some peasant affairs that led to his offense and her immediate termination, despite the fact that she had been advising the kingdom for decades, and according to the wiki, she also practically raised him. Although, granted, that wiki is taking information from the show, which we're not considering canon, blah 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 blah. As a result of this sacking, Yzma swears revenge and conspires with her friend Kronk, and coincidentally the best character of the movie, to murder him with some poison she developed in her Dexter's laboratory. Unfortunately, either due to Krunk's mix-up or her own incompetence, he is instead turned into a llama and is ejected from the city. He is then quickly pronounced dead and the kingdom is given over to Yzma. The fact that his subjects don't seem to care that he is gone speaks volumes about his personality. Now, this might be controversial, but I think we're actually going to start Cusco's alignment at Chaotic Evil. And I know that sounds extreme, but based on what we see, he absolutely is this, uh, at least at the beginning of the movie. The kid is an absolute turd. He's a fun and funny turd, but he is a spoiled rich kid who is an absolute menace to those close to him. But with all that out of the way, let's go. Gentlemen, I bring you more corn! Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, after last time... This uh... time shall be different! <laughs> yeah, well, all right. Cause I am hungry again. It's not different at all! Is it Steve? <laughs> Cusco does his day-to-day -day operations after the cold opening. We see him do his duties as a divine king, but his first noticeable act is when his groove is thrown off and the old man is thrown out the window as a result. He also looks through his potential wives, chooses none of them, and does catty insults as he goes through them. Chaotic evil, twice. The nerve of some of those peasants, huh? Tell me about it. Cusco confronts his advisor, Yzma, about running the country behind his back. In the conversation, we find out that this isn't the first time Cusco has talked to Yzma about this. He does let her go and... Does he... A little to the left. Have any idea of who he's dealing with? Hey, there he is, my main village man. Cusco then meets with Pacha to discuss building a vacation home and informs him that he'll be destroying Pacha's house without compensation in order to do this. Pacha does try to resist by saying Cusco can't evict him without notice or care, but Cusco does respond that he can do anything he wants. Lawful evil. Bye bye. Oh, wait. 
Cusco accepts a dinner invitation from Kronk and Yzma with no issues. Though he does roast them. Um, I'm just going to say neutral, though. What do you mean I don't look like the Emperor? Um, oh, do this. Cusco discovers that he has been transformed into a llama. He does immediately jump to the conclusion that Pacha is responsible for this. He also believes that Yzma isn't responsible and that all the people he has wronged within the last 24 hours will immediately help him because of his status as the Emperor. Cusco is given an ultimatum to build his palace somewhere else or Pacha won't help. He declines and also decides to head into the jungle without Pacha's help. Chaotic neutral. Cusco refuses a gift from a squirrel who is offering food and does it rather rudely. This does not work out for him. Chaotic evil. Uh oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. After having his life saved by Pacha, Cusco ruins his attempts to start a fire after he was willing to do mouth to mouth. He is also told plainly why it would be bad for him to build Cusco Topia, but keeps insisting that Pacha take him back to the palace. Yzma will fix him, according to him, and he'll simply continue building his summer home. Neutral evil. Thanks. No. Oh, mm. No problem. After some kindness, he toys around with the idea of moving Cusco Topia. He then does a handshake promise to move the place somewhere else. This is immediately followed by him betraying Pacha and saying that he was going to imprison him for life and then leaving him to the fatal situation. After which he falls into the same trap, he then argues and fights with Pacha. Chaotic evil. Cusco does work with him, however, to save their lives from dying and being eaten, though berates Pacha the entire time. He, however, saves Pacha from falling, and this is his first selfless action of the movie, so let's give him a neutral good. Cusco convinces Pacha to carry him and stop for food on their four-way journey to the palace. He complies with being disguised during this time, but otherwise hijinks ensue. Chaotic neutral. Ordering, I need two hot burns and a deep-fried door <laughs> Pacha tells Cusco that Yzma and Kronk are there at the diner looking to kill him. Cusco immediately ditches Pacha despite his warnings, but after realizing that Pacha was telling the truth, Cusco wanders off. Chaotic neutral. I didn't do anything, and they ruined my life and took everything I had. Hey, give it a rest up there, will ya? This is Cusco's big self-reflective moment. This is where he argues with his egotistical narrator and realizing that his actions pushed everyone into hating him. True neutral. You tired of being a llama? Yes! Cusco attempts to apologize for his behavior at the diner. Pacha doesn't even give him much of a chance to apologize, however, just wanting to help him out. Still, Cusco's attempt makes this neutral good. This is actually a good opportunity to talk about Pacha. Pacha is a literal good person who puts up with Cusco's attitude the entire time. He answers Cusco's questions, does defy him only to save his family and the people on the hill, but consistently helps Cusco after getting betrayed. The few times he has lashed out angrily at Cusco was either because he put him into a stressful or lethal situation, but the second the moment passes, he is nice and helpful. He's helpful to those around him and is overall just a good family man. Neutral good. Cusco is actively helping Pacha get back to the palace. He's more involved, willing to work, and pulling his own weight. So, really, I'm just gonna say lawful good, even though it's helping him. Okay, why does she even have that lever? Upon arriving at the palace and seeing Yzma has a cure for his llama transformation, Cusco does apologize about treating her poorly and asks if killing him is really worth it. He once again gets a lesson about his past coming back to bite him while Yzma is quoting him exactly, neutral good. Uh, this is actually a good moment to talk about Yzma. Yzma has been shown to be loyal to Cusco. If we go by her cut song from the movie, Snuff Out the Light, which is sung by Eartha Kitt and is a fun jam, Yzma is fully aware of her age, angered by how she has been pushed aside due to her age, uh, and we don't really get a total idea of how she views the court outside of her opening bit, where she scolds a peasant for being poor, and then her behavior with the other guards and even Kronk. She is certainly evil, but willing to have some fun and take it easy compared to even other advisors like Jafar. But she was hoping to kill Cusco in a multitude of ways, but usually not directly, so we're just gonna say lawful evil. Cusco and Pacha team up against Yzma to try to stop her and cure him. After Yzma is transformed into a cat and they have whittled away all the other transformation potions, 
Cusco has the chance to take this potion and turn his back or stop Pacha from falling to his death. Cusco actively chooses to save Pacha. They also do a perfected version of the group wall climb, showing the growth that they've done. Neutral good. Now human, Cusco begins to turn everything around. He apologizes to the man who threw off his groove earlier, and he also removes Cusco Topia from the mountain, though maintaining his behavior with Pacha. He even downsizes Cusco Topia to spend time with Pacha and the family and not make it into a big palace, so lawful good. So sometimes I get accused of momentum pushing, meaning that sometimes people accuse me of making certain things happen and I want a character to end up at a certain alignment. In this video in particular, that is absolutely 100% true. Listen guys, this movie is a comedy, and it's meant to take a jerk and turn him into a good guy. And while my system may not be perfect for demonstrating that, the pacing and comedic timing of the movie does support this movement. So even if, uh, say for example, my method of judging his alignment doesn't quite fly, it certainly does fly by the rules of movies, basically. And I am fully willing to admit that my system is not perfect and it does have some flaws, but I hope you can agree with where we started and where we ended up. Anyway, I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you next week for Black Widow. I will also try to get out a D20 review of her movie as well. Don't forget to like and share the video, it really does help us out. And if we hit these viewership requirements that I mentioned earlier, we'll be sure to do Kronk next time.